Hello, welcome to the New Millennium Video Dance Series. My name is Michael Kim. And I'm Brandy Fillion. This is Intermediate to Advanced American Rumba. Stick around, we'll be right back. We're going to start off with a box step in the rumba, and this is an extended box step. So we'll begin by dancing forward into the lady on the slow, taking three side steps, quick, quick, and then another side step. This is a, an extension to the box step, which would normally be a back step. Now for the guys, what we're going to do here is have you dance forward on your first slow, and then push yourself to the right, quick, quick, and then slow. Once you get your weight onto the right foot, you're going to allow a body turn to the right. So the feet stay stationary, the body rotates to the right. Again, that would be counted as slow, quick, quick, slow, adding pressure to the lady's hand and rotating our upper body on the slow. Okay, now let's just take a look at what happens when I do that. We bring Brandy forward on the slow, then dance quick, quick, and I add pressure to the last beat on the slow, which rotates her shoulders to the right. Now at this point, she's flaring the right leg out and then curving around me for the quick, quick, slow behind my right leg. Once Brandy gets behind the right leg, on the slow beat, I'm going to swivel around and point my left foot to the side, which puts me back in a matching position to the partner. Let's take a look at that again. We dance slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, bring the leg around. That puts us in the same position, turning the corner. It's got a real nice feel to it, a good connection. From here, I'm going to bring her forward onto her left foot by shifting weight, and shifting weight back again, and shifting weight back again. Now my weight shifts are not complete weight shifts. I'm not going completely over one leg or the other. I'm staying in between. I'm only using enough weight change to get the partner to respond by crossing and swiveling. Again, as she steps through, she puts her weight on the foot. If I shift my body weight back and forth and keep a good tone through my frame, she's going to crisscross the swivels back and forth in front of me. So you don't need to go all the way to there, all the way to there. You can see that's starting off balance. But don't want to do that. No way. All right, ladies. Actually, I'm going to talk to you guys for just a second. When you're extending the box, it's important that you take your frame with you so that I can feel that you're extending the box. If a lot of guys have a tendency to leave the lady behind, the lady's going to assume you're doing a basic. So when you change it, make sure you let her know that you change it. Ladies, I'm going to go over just a couple of the concepts here. We start with our box, slow, quick, quick. As I take this side step, this is where the man rotates, so I rotate Notice my weight is all the way over my left foot. I'm not still halfway in between. As I rotate, I allow the leg to fan behind me slightly, and I step back quick, quick, slow. Again, full weight transfer, so from here I can swivel around. Now I want to talk for just a minute about the swivels. Ladies, when you're dancing swivels, your hips and your feet rotate more than your shoulders, so there's going to be an isolation happening from the rib cage down. If I rotate the same amount, I'm either going to limit the rotation through my hips and feet, or I'm going to break my frame with my partner by going too far through the top. I'm going to keep a basic walking action, which is going to be the knee and the ankle passing one another. So I'm going to turn away from you. Anytime I'm doing a swivel, I make sure that as I pull the leg through, the inside of the knee brushes, the inside of the ankle brushes, and then I step. Now the only thing I'm going to do different is I'm going to rotate over my standing foot as I pull the leg through. So I'm going to rotate over my, right, my left foot as I draw the right foot through and step. 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 I also relax the hip just a little bit and that helps pull me through the swivel. So as I feel my partner lead it, I let the hip settle back slightly and that helps initiate the rotation over my standing foot here. So I'll ask Michael to rejoin me, and we'll go ahead and show you what this looks like. Okay, stepping through again. We use these rotation, rotation, and rotation. Keeping compression in the upper body so her arm is not limp at this point. It's pretty toned. One thing we want to make a note on is there are two different types of rumba. There's an American style and an international style. 
The American style tends to have a little bit more of a bent knee on the, on the entrance of the step versus international having a straighter leg. We prefer the straighter leg for our style because we like it better, it feels better in our body. But you can still use all the American style patterns so that you'll notice that if you take lessons someplace and the teacher says, well, American is definitely a bent knee to a straight and international is definitely straight and then off. Uh, it is true that when we dance our basics, you'll notice on basic rumbas we use our knee bent position, knee bent position and step. On some of our variations, we use a stronger leg to go through the patterns. So this is okay to use. You're still using a rumba action and still using a rumba timing. So we don't want to confuse you by showing you some things with a straight leg and some with a bent. So I thought we'd just clear that up real quick. Now ladies, realize that when you're dancing socially, you don't have to be too strict on bent knee, straight knee. This is something that you're going to be more concerned with if you were actually in competition. So don't spend too much time worrying about it. However, realize that the only difference is when the knee straightens. In American style, I straighten the knee after I put weight on it. In international style, I straighten the leg before I put weight on it. There's your biggest difference right there.